Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm a day place here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're new, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you are a returner, please also don't forget to like, to share and to comment and make sure you all turn on the notification bell on so that you are notified every time I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So I am super excited because I am starting a new LP. Um, this LP will be a high school LP. Um, I haven't really delved into the high school pack and I thought I'd start a new family and um, get into it. So... Our main star of this LP is April, April Hamilton. She's absolutely gorgeous. And this is her mom here, Candace Hamilton. Um, today's actually a Sunday. So we will have, um, April will be starting her first day at school tomorrow. Oops. Her first day at school tomorrow. So that is super exciting. Um, I think the best thing to do is to go into class and show you guys the family. Introduce you to them all. And so we've got the guys in class. And this is our main girl. Our teenager who will, who we will be playing with in this high school LP. So this is April Hamilton and she is absolutely gorgeous I created her myself and I think she came out amazing um, so she I decided to give her the admired icon aspiration so this sim wants to be a trendsetter popular and influential a true icon um, she which also gave her the relatable um, so relatable sims build friendly relationships with fellow teens faster um, She is appealing these sims build romance slightly faster because they look attractive as you guys can see absolutely gorgeous um, And she's also an extrovert these sims social needs decays faster their fun uh, Their fun need playfulness and confidence decay slower when being around other sims and decay faster when being alone so she's like an extrovert uh, likes getting to know people and all of that so this is her first everyday wear her second this is so cute super cute second and third like how gorgeous is she guys like she came out absolutely beautiful i'm so proud of how she came out um this is her formal cute i wanted it to be like even though she's a teenager she still like puts herself together but i didn't want it to be too like adulty so i was really like conscious and i was styling her to still give her teenager vibes um, this is her fitness wear, super cute. Love it. Her sleep wear, cute once again. Oh no, can't forget the bonnet. <laughs> this is her party wear, super cute. Her swim wear, guys, how cute is this? Um, what's it called? um swimwear it's her bikini set with the little cute teddy bears on it like i love it so much i was like nah i have to put that on her this is her swimwear i mean sorry her hot weather wear and her cold weather wear super cute so that's april hamilton and i hope you guys think she's as beautiful as i think I personally think she is now I'm going to introduce you guys to the rest of her family so this is mama Hamilton her mother gorgeous um, this is Candace Hamilton now let me show you what her clothes are looking like so this is her everyday wear 
cute her formal like when mom decides she wants to show out she is going to show up beautiful woman um, this is her um, what's it called her workout wear her sleepwear you know she just had to be extra with it <laughs> her party wear super cute her swim weather oh my goodness guys I don't know what I'm saying her swim wear her hot weather wear and her cold weather wear so that is Candace Hamilton Candace Hamilton um, has the super parent aspiration she wants to be the best parent ever she's also domestic which comes with the super parent aspiration um, she wants to see her familial relationships grow stronger and faster she has the neat trait, um, the nurturing trait. These sims become happy and calm around children. They're good at parenting. And she also has the ambitious trait. <clears throat> so that is Mama Hamilton, Candace Hamilton. Let me introduce you to April's dad, Candace's husband. So this is Clive Hamilton. I love how they're both CC. Candace Hamilton and Clive Hamilton. Cute. Um, her, her dad's an handsome man. This is his everyday wear, formal wear, athletic, sleep, party, swim, hot weather, and cold weather. So that's Papa Hamilton, Clive Hamilton. So he's got the Renaissance um, aspiration. He wants to be good at many things at once. He also has the overachiever trait so these sims tend to raise their skills faster and are happy when they finish work tasks but a little harder to get along with as friends he also has the family oriented trait so he's happy around family members and he also has the ambitious trait just like his lovely wife candace hamilton so last but not least least we have hallie hamilton april's younger sister what an absolute cutie pie um yep so this is hallie hamilton this is her everyday wear her formal her um fitness her sleep party how cute is she <laughs> little cutie pie her swim hot weather and cold weather I really like this jacket actually super cute um, so Hallie Hamilton has the social butterfly aspiration she wants to talk to everyone and make friends she also has the sociable trait I mean sorry wait yeah the sociable trait so she um, likes to meet and spend time with many other scenes she's excited when being around other scenes and become confident when being around their friends um, she gains and loses friendship faster so yeah this is Hallie Hamilton and that is the Hamilton family I hope you guys love them as much as I love them even though I'm only just starting to play them but yeah I'm excited <laughs> so I guess the next thing to do is to show you guys um, where to live so they live in Copperdale in this beautiful pretty area um, I actually downloaded this house from the gallery uh, which one's the entrance again all right okay this is the entrance so yeah this is the house they live in they're pretty well off um, the parents um, are doing pretty well for themselves and doing whatever they can to provide for their kids and they were able to afford this lovely house like I love this house so much it's not too gigantic but at the same time it's not tiny and it gives me very very cozy family vibes which I absolutely adore so you come in through the front door here and this is pretty much the living room area super cute and then if you go here this is the dining area 
once again super cute i love it and this is the kitchen like guys does this not give you such homey vibes like how cute is this kitchen i love it so freaking cute guys i love, I love this family already <laughs> Um, this is the garage. We have um, a treadmill here, the laundry area where they can wash their clothes. They have a speedboat in here, a workstation. Like it's just so cute. Um, there's a guitar, a microphone stand, and yeah, I just love it. Um, this is like the family. Um, bathroom anyone can use it and then if when we go here these are the parents this is the parents bedroom mom Clive and Candace um, private area super cute very neutral colors I love it um, and then when you go outside this is what outside pretty much looks like they have another dining area a swimming pool a grill and some benches if they want a suntan they've also got um what did, what's this called again uh telescope <laughs> my brain went blank there and this rack for drying clothes super cute so if they don't want to dry it in the washing machine sorry you don't want to dry it in the dryer they've got the rack outside super cute and then if we go upstairs the girls have their own bedroom so this is a guest room this is an extra spare room um this is um hallie's bedroom super cute nice cute kids bedroom and this is our girl april's bedroom how cute is it? I think for this one, I'm going to go into tab mode just so we can really immense us ourselves and just how fabulous her room looks. Um, yeah, so this is her room. Her favorite color is green. Like the space is not the biggest, but I feel like it just makes it so much cuter okay yeah there we go i forgot to like put the, the things up so like it's a bit difficult to maneuver only because it's such a small room but this is pretty much her room so cute guys so cute um i love this room so much like so much like look at a little camera there magazines nail polish perfume everything she needs there and her little um what are these called again little boards where she can stick things on and her calendar and this cute mirror right here just to make the room look a little bit bigger mm. yeah i love the room let me let me know what you guys think about her room um, I personally think it's super cute, but you know, I might be biased. This is her own ensuite bathroom. So when you go inside, this is her bathroom. Super cute. The green theme pretty much continues, except for the blue and pink bath. Bathroom, shower, but it's still super cute. Like, ah, love it. <laughs> um so yeah that's the house um i'll just let you guys know what the parents do so candace is um a payroll generate generalist so she's super smart she's in the accounting um career she's good with numbers just like such a smart woman we love to see it um, dad is an engineer so he's an engineering technician um, in the engineer career so he's doing really well for himself too like I just love it too smart hard-working career-oriented 
um, couple raising their family. So <laughs> exciting. Um, um, I'm pretty much done with the introductions. Um, the next thing I want to do is actually get a pet. Um, I forgot to get a pet, but I might as well just do it now. So before we have April head to bed, we're going to have her adopt a pet. Because that's all we need. That's all we're missing to complete this family. A pet. I've already got the a pet bed and water and bowl, uh, water and food bowl for the pet. But super exciting, guys. What do you think about this house? Like, it's so freaking cute. So I, as I mentioned earlier, I did download this building this um house from um what's it called <laughs> guys my brain keeps going black black from the um gallery i did download this house from the gallery and this is not how the inside looked <laughs> i decorated it to my own taste moved some things around and you know and this is what we came ended up with and i'm so 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 happy with it so yeah i think that's introduction pretty much done and we can get right on into gameplay all right april girl let's have you i don't know if i should remove this mirror because it's getting on my nerves I could, like I wish I can like see through here but this mirror is just like making it annoying <laughs> I don't know should I move it because I, I do like the effect it gives like being able to see the room but because the room is quite small it's just a bit like weird awkward right anywho Anastasia my love let's have you um adopt a pet oh guys i don't know i can't make up my mind guys chloe's cute i don't know <laughs> um guys i literally stopped recording i didn't realize i wasn't recording anymore but i decided to go ahead and pick chloe and she's all right here so let's see if she gets along with the family um where are you going come on april come and say hi to chloe and see if we get along with her oh no not going to the bathroom with your food okay oh what's wrong with chloe baby Oh, pet, get to know. Let's see what her traits are. Okay, mom and dad are already asleep, so they can get to know her when she wakes up. Okay, Chloe's adventures. Um, Let's see what else she is. A trouble. <laughs> of course she's a troublemaker. Of course she's a troublemaker. Okay, Hallie's coming to say hi to Chloe. Um, okay, can we find out one more trait before we adopt her? Her last trait. Jumpy, okay, all right. Let's adopt her. Welcome to the family, Chloe. Yes, we know it's a responsibility. I think I'll just leave it at that, Chloe. If you guys have any other name options you want me 
you would like to suggest do free free do feel free to let me know but we are going to stick with chloe for now all right okay um hallie's eaten oh. all right when you're done eating go and pee acquired a new memory probably because she has a pet now how have you got back problems at your age i'm deleting that sorry no well can't have back problems at your age <laughs> we're not doing that to her oh who made bread probably mom i didn't know she made bread oh it's baked potato <laughs> i thought it was bread <laughs> baked potato yep by mom candace hamilton all right let's put the rest in the fridge um bye mr adoption agent um okay you can come back and finish your baked potato how are you feeling april i think she's good let's have her go to bed too Mom, I'm going to pee. Oh, Dad is even hungry. Okay, go and grab something to eat quickly. Then you can go back to bed. Oh, Dad's feeling flirty. <laughs> All right, April's in bed now. What an absolute cute pie. It's her laughing in her sleep for me. Guys, is she not gorgeous? Anywho, um, I'm going to allow the family. Oh, what this happened? I'm going to allow the family to go on over. To go on over and um, go to bed. And I will see you all um, in the next day when april wakes up and gets ready to head over to her new school exciting guys like look at this april just woke up to bladder failure like your bathroom is literally just over there girl seriously Ugh, that's disgusting. Clean that up, please. Um, Dad, what you doing here? What is your pro What are you doing? Yeah, bye. <laughs> that was so random. Ugh, April. Right, go and take a shower then. Go and take a shower before you go back to bed. Uh, girl. Okay, let's have everybody else go to bed. You need to go and pee. Oh, cute. Well, go pee. We don't need another accident happening. Um, Candice. Oh, Candice is pretty good. Do you want to take a bath? Just go back to sleep. I know you're not that tired, but just go to sleep. Um, Hallie's sleeping. Great. Um, how is Chloe feeling? Chloe, baby. Oh, Chloe's sleeping in the other room. Okay. Dad, you to go back to sleep even though you're not even hungry. I mean sleepy, but... All of y'all just go back to bed until it's morning and you go back to sleep please and thank you thank you all right now we'll be back when it's morning time um guys looks like it's a change of plans but it looks like it's summer break Oh, it seems like we're actually on summer break, so we won't be going to the school. Um, I've decided that we're going to have the family go on vacation for this summer break. 
Um, and when summer breaks over, then April can get can begin school. Oops, so easy. I messed that up. I'm gonna have to fix that in class. Like, I literally don't know how I did not realize that it was summer break, and I checked the calendar. But I didn't realize. But yeah, okay. We're going to have the guys go on vacation. How long does the summer break last? Uh, is it seven days or? I'm not too sure how long the summer break is supposed to last for. Hmm. Anyways, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But well, hopefully not too long. Or is it just the one day? I can't really tell. Is the summer break just a day? <laughs> I don't understand. I feel like it might just be for the day because when it looks like I can always send them back early because it says Holly will not need to return to school until the fall unless her parents send her back early and same with April I think I'm going to end this episode here just so it doesn't drag for too long and in the next episode um, the family will be at their summer vacation that's exciting but thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys are excited as I am about this new LP. Um, please don't forget to like, to subscribe and share. And if you have any suggestions on what um, I can do in this, LP, in this LP, please don't hesitate to comment and let me know. But I'm super excited and I hope you guys are too. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.